Okay, hard drive space is fine. All right. It is entirely too silent. Um, okay, cool. For the other day, Pretzel didn't load. I was like, oh, God, did that actually load? All right. So, as I was saying, the plan for today's stream, making sure my mod computer's up, my plan for the day's stream is I'm going to start with Dismantle, and that's because we have a run of Dismantled going. Dismantle, not not past tense. Dismantle going. Um, that we've got really good progress in it, but it kind of got bumped between myself and Tomb going on vacation for a couple of days, and then Roots of Pacha being a game I was like really interested in playing, dropping while we were gone, so I picked that up. It kind of got bumped. Um, so I'm not sure how the viewership's on this could be. There might be a bunch of people excited to like catch back up on what's going on. People may have lost interest in already. Who knows? Um, we're going to be playing this till probably about 9 p.m. EST or EDT, um, at which point we'll be switching over to a sponsored segment uh, that'll last for about two hours. We might go longer with it, depending how much we enjoy the game. Um, that's called Nightcrawlers, is the name of the game. And it's not Nightcrawlers, like, you know, worms or whatever. It's a dungeon crawler style game. Um, it has rogue light, I believe, elements. Um, there's progression to it, where you can, like, enchant your weapons and all that kind of stuff. And wobble physics. So, it has, like, a lot of you know, action RPG kind of, you know, dungeon crawlery kind of mechanics to it. But then it's physics enabled and your character has like this big heavy head and enemies have big heavy heads. You get the idea. It's going to be absolute chaos. I've heard nothing but good things from the people who have already played it. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. I think that'll be a lot of just ridiculous fun. Um, once we finish with the sponsored segment, depending on how things are going, we might just be really into the game and keep going. We might switch over to, um, I've got a bunch of keys laying around that I've been getting from various developers that I've been meaning to check out. Um, a couple of them are a little bit more meme -y. A couple of them are stuff I'm like, okay, I, I see a lot of potential this game. Um, but we might pull out a couple of those and give those a try, and we'll see what happens. But yeah. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and pop in here. I don't remember, do we, do we even have the music turned on in this? It's been so long. Okay, so there is music in this. Wobble physics, is that like tabs? Um, I don't know. Oh, totally accurate battle simulator. To be honest, I've never actually played totally accurate battle simulator. Uh hum. But wobble physics, like if you remember um wobble dogs, where like all of them just kind of like bounce around a little like that. It's that, but imagine like Path of Exile, but slower with wobble physics. <laughs> but like inside like a dungeon as opposed to that. Alright, so. I don't remember we have had music in this game. I don't remember how we play this game. I don't remember who we are or what we're doing. Um, I'm apparently doing that. Okay, I've got run. Um, we need to approach the entrance of the hidden archipelago. We did get our gas mask. We need to go to the gate. We're getting our things here. The other thing where I can kill stuff that stays dead, I don't remember. No. Because he didn't drop the thing. All right. Yeah, it's it's silly. It's a game you don't want to take too seriously. All right, so that was fixable. Okay, so we were trying to go through here. Um, I'm trying to remember, what do you want? I don't have tomatoes. I just want to check. This is from the other side, right? Yeah, so it's from the other side, so I don't care about it. Um, because we were trying to get farther to the west to get our fuel cells and see what we can do with that. Um, I don't remember what materials were bottlenecked on, and that one I needed to figure out some code we were looking for. That's right, we were looking for there's a town somewhere. Did do we do we have the music turned off? Like. Game had music, right? Well, that's concerning. Jimmy's kind of disable this. Oh, no, I had it set right. Okay, okay. I'm just wondering where the music is. Alright, so we were looking for... a town... Maybe it's down here? Oh, it could be down there. 
We were looking for a town that's going to give us more stuff that we're supposed to do. But we have yet to find that we're finding everything else. The mu What are you? Oh. It's another one of those things that's like an arena thing. I think I have one of those. Yeah, I don't have another blue eye orb ready. Yeah, I'll just play terribly. Don't mind me. I'm Rusty. We haven't played for a week. Yeah, for those who aren't familiar with Dismantled, kind of the big claim to fame for Dismantled is you can break pretty much anything. Um, you just have to like get equipment strong enough to do it. Okay. There's another like bunker here. That's curious. That's the first time I've seen another bunker. And whatever this is. Okay. We got a central processing unit, an extremely rare material used to give instructions to electrical interfaces. Um, I should find more of these. Oh, you know what I bet you this is? This is going to be that new DLC. We can now build a machine gun turret. I do not appear to be able to get inside this bunker. Alright, so what the heck did it tell us to do? Because I, I am collecting all of the quests. Loud noises from the speaker attracts monsters from the old shelter nearby. Build defenses and prepare to kill the horde. Uh, kill all the monsters before they reach the loudspeaker. Okay. Is there a crafting table here? Because I'm assuming I can't just build it on my inventory. I also have another trinket spot I don't remember when I got, but that's fine. So you can do the one that gives us more power attack damage. I'm already using the one that gives me more carrying stuff. Let's go for more extra damage. Okay. I'm turning our music on. Because the total lack of music is bothering me more than it should. Um, so wants me to build a turret here to protect the shelter. Well, protect the loudspeaker. But I believe I need a crafting bench to do that. So I'm surprised they didn't give us a crafting location right here. Um, so that was that one I saw. There's something down there. I was actually heading over this way when I when we saw this. Let's also check down here. Let's let's check the surrounding area, see if we can't figure out anything. Hey, get off me, dog. Okay, you're telling me that, but I don't see a way to safely get down into said sinkhole. That didn't help the case. Because even if I get down in the sinkhole, I don't see how I'd get back out of the sinkhole. It might be I unlock rope or something to do that later. Like, I got a, a rope thing earlier, but I didn't see a prompt or anything where I could use it. All right, so I need four planks for that. Okay. And I have something over here to check out. Oh, right, we've already been here, as you can tell by the scattered debris sitting above it. All right. 
So I'm thinking what we need to do is we've been meaning to, to drop back to our main base. Do stuff. I think I am going to run down here and check out those two things. Um, and then we might travel to the, the nearest fast travel, get back to base, produce the turret, produce a whole bunch of these other things at once. No, don't, don't activate that, please. Because if it's giving me something like a sentry turret to fight stuff, pretty sure I'm going to need to, uh, to get that and put to use. Okay. Um, we did get a huge amount of lore while we were running around over here, which is pretty nice. Um, make sure I don't overshoot this place. Yes, yeah, so I need to go straight down, then to the west. Um, we got a huge amount of lore that whatever artifacts had been messed with up here, they inadvertently had released the, um... They call it mana, but it's a thing that caused zombies. Alright, so we'll stop here, heal up, all that kind of stuff. Oh right, I can craft stuff here. Well first, is there any gear I actually want to upgrade? Right, all of those are waiting on mana shards, I don't want to use the mana shards in that. It's fine, we'll deal with that later. Invent. We have the Recycler, which is something I should probably make at some point. Uh, Inventory? How do I craft your turret? Right, we, we made all the recipes. Hmm. Because normally the only place I've seen to craft is there. And it made a big point... It made a big point about, hey, you need to craft this turret to defend this thing. We gave you a special thing to do. It's... Oh, right. Um... Don't mind me, enemies. That was satisfying. Not particularly important or useful. Actually, no, that gave me a lot of... Are those the good planks or those the not as good planks? No, these are these are just the regular ones. Okay, so the bummer was that wasn't what we are looking for. While very entertaining to explode them all in one big massive death explosion, not what we're looking for. Uh, so we'll check out over here. Feels like a place I'll put a boss. Or, or that. Or they could do that. Okay, it's supposed to be right here. We have a place we can dig. Um, alright. Well, if that's what we're gonna have, go and drop the scrap wood. Okay, uh, drop the other scrap wood. Oh my god, how much did you give me of that fabric? Um, drop even more scrap wood. Jeez, that was like... Why did I do that? <laughs> Check your weapons for the turret. Um, that's actually not a bad point. That schematic there is what I'm looking for. Now, granted, it could be on that build menu. That might be where it is. Special item. No special items. It can't change those unless I'm at camp. Alright, well first let's reclaim our stuff, because 
I definitely did not just immediately, like, throw myself into a hole. Yeah, so that'll break. Okay. This so still here will break, but I can run right over that. Yes, yeah, so that corner's a death trap, but it did give me a lot of materials. Okay, so let's check our accessories as well. Let's see if we can't find a turret, because the turrets right here will do that thing real fast. Um, so inventory. No, there's nothing new here, so it's definitely not here. Well, let's go ahead and put that on there and see if maybe it's this. I don't think it would be. Smelter, sawmill, storage box, workbench, kitchen stove. Nope, it's it's there. Okay. Well, let's go back over there then, because that should be right up this way. Did I already check that place? I checked that place, right? Yeah, we checked that place. So I'll have to run up and around. That's fine. I'm going to have to do that anyways to hit the fast travel. So let's run back up here. And get back up into the... Uh, there. So I'm getting so many main and side quests, I've long since lost track of what I should and shouldn't be worrying about. Like, you just see exclamation marks telling me to go everywhere. But it's one of those things that I keep finding new things that are like, ah, quest. And I suspect finishing these quests will actually give me a lot of good stuff. I wonder how good the turret is. All right. Okay, so I cannot move while that's out. So I can bottleneck the enemies a little bit. Because they won't hit the fences and all that. So I think my plan is going to be to take the turret. And try going like that. I did not realize the way that's going to work. Hey, friend. Hey, friend. I'm gonna need you to walk right up into this turret's range, okay? Oh, that's not at all what I wanted. Yeah, so, um, I failed to read the part about where I need to face it towards the, towards the hatch there, in case you're wondering. I was like, okay, they're going to come from all their sides, so I want to put it over this thing as best we can. Um, so in this case, what we're going to go ahead and do is not do the thing I just did. And instead, go like this, choose defenses, and go with that. Oh, right, they just drop in the same place. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, okay. So, new new thing figured out. My uh, my mines hurt me as well. So let's just go like this. Let's see if we can't put these mines in some use. Put one here, one down there. Kill this guy so he can't trip it on me by accident. And I think this is a long. No, don't, don't. That's on me. I don't use the mines very often, so I'm getting myself in trouble with them. Let's kill all the stuff around here so that doesn't happen. Or so we don't waste the mines and some that doesn't need a mine. Okay, so one mine there. One mine here. Kill this guy. One mine down here. Grab that. Switch off our mines to our grenades. And now try it. Oh, I have to reload you? Alright. That's new information. Okay, that's... Alright, new, new plan and how we're approaching this whole thing. We're just taking it right at that door. Um, and I need to go here, change you out, put the wrench in this place. I also noticed I can friendly fire my own stuff. Because I did most of the damage to that building myself. Um, it might be worth my while to hit them with the katana to get them aggroed to me. To dance them around that gun. Okay, I have noticed it's only when they get down to really low health that they start hitting me. That's rough. But that is the new DLC, so I'm probably expected to be fully kitted for that. So that might be a comeback later kind of thing. do that later. No, not DLC. Okay. Not worry about those things. 
Yeah, it's definitely like, okay, I feel like I'm not doing the damage I should, that they're just flat out overwhelming. I don't... Would you go away, enemy? But see a neat trick, enemy? It's one I learned. It's a cool trick. Alright, so... We still haven't found where that wants to go. I think that was blocked off, if I remember correctly. Let's go check that way. Because that bridge I can't cross yet. Um, the bridge down over here, that one, um, I need materials I don't have here. The fishing spot's gonna do us no good. I don't see any other buildings down here, because I need, um, for that I need materials I don't have nearby. We've got our quest markers, we never did figure out what they were. Oh no, those are the teleport things we don't know how to use. Um, so where's the nearest fast travel location? You're way over here, aren't you? Yeah, you're all the way over there. And you're over here. Um, so we'll mark that. We'll start walk working our way over this way. And go from there. First, I want to remember. Oh no, is the toxic gas? I should be able to go across this now. That's right. I didn't have the gas mask before, but I got over here. It started killing me. I'm wondering if I destroy all these barrels, if it'll make it go away. Nope. At least not that I'm noticing. This seems to be a large city. Ooh. Message to all survivors. Head for the Pioneer's Park in the middle of the city. We are able to provide shelter for you there. Alright. They're gonna be dead. So it's gonna be... Alright, cool. I forgot that the gas mask was progression we hadn't had before. Okay. Let's still go towards that link tower. Can't get through that. In our time of need and want, there is no place for selfish actions. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. Wait, I can't get through this. What am I talking about? As I was like, oh no, I have to go around. It's like, no, I can go through this. Walls mean nothing to me. We have the power of smash. Oh, I got predicted. Oh, you take a week off a game and it is so rough getting back into it. All right, let's get back over here. I don't, I, like, did, did we have to play our own music last time? I don't remember doing that, and it feels like it's just utter silence since I said, like, no copywritten music. Alright, we're, we're just playing our music. I'm, I'm not gonna play with it. I really, 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 really wish games. Oh, right, there's a dodge button. 
I really wish games... It's okay if they want to do copyright music, but, like, have some not copyright music to placeholder. Even if it's just, you said, hey, you know, get the intern to play the music. I don't, I don't care. But, like, how many games where it's like, oh, you're streaming? All right. You know, turn off the copyright music so you don't DMCA and listen to silence. Complete and utter silence is getting pretty old, honestly. Okay. Oh. He gets one little nick in and he hits you for 60. That's tough. Okay. I'm being aggressive because I'm unmotivated to kill the enemies here beyond what I need to to survive. Because I know they're just going to respawn, and I don't really care about the stuff they drop. I had a good day so far. Feeling the pains of, um... Oh, come on. Feeling the pains of having not played this for a while, so... Forgetting how to dodge stuff and all that. Okay, so our body's up here. Oh yeah, no, I'll just... I'll need to warm up a little bit and then I'll get it. That's fine. So I can't bust those are up on a platform, so I guess I can't destroy that. That's a clever way of getting around that problem. Um that's a concrete wall. I might not be able to break that yet. Oh nope, I can go through that. And I know I'm skipping looting all these buildings at the moment. Oh, hey. There's more poison. you all right so you got the fast travel tower sorted out and unfortunately I don't have what I need to be able to um make it so the enemy stay dead not yet at least We got most of the map revealed at this point. Um, so transmitters. Scan. Yep. So deadly thing, I don't have that. Yes, yeah, so they want us to go down here. Yes, yeah, so I, I have so many of these quests. Construction work. Build any decorati decoratives. 
Enter the mist gate. Let's see. Uh, some mechanical contraption flies over your location, continues towards an unknown distance. So we're going to take that off right now. I'm going to take that off right now. We'll leave that on. So that way we start working on some of these other other quests. Um, I am going to fast travel back to our home base, which I think that's the closest one to it. Um, because it was making a bunch of the higher tech re materials on there and then just straight up left. So go grab those. I'm still surprised they don't put a, a fast travel like either in your base or right next to it or something like that. Like it's not a far run. It's just weird that they chose to not do that. All right. So let's run over here. Okay, so get that going. Get that going. Get that going. that going all right so those are the big things we need we can start just upgrading things making progress all kind of stuff so upgrade material transporter yes I would like to use that more than once the hat sure go ahead and say yes to the hand wrap that's fine as well. Yes, yeah, so that's the mana shards. The mana shards are the only ones I don't really want to use. Because I don't, like, I haven't seen many of them, and I have the feeling that they're rare. Um, so you can craft stuff. The recycler. I need steel for. All right, so I need stuff for a lot of these. That's fine. But the big thing is I've now got those planks. If I can get the steel out of this, that'll be put us in good shape. Um. So well, the other things I have as an objective is to make three basic decorative things. Let's go ahead and knock that out. Is there anything I can do to get stuff off my list of missions makes it easier to keep track of what I can can't do. Decorative. Um, done and done. New buildable wooden door. Okay. New invention, home portal. While your new abode might not be the largest one, the fanciest one, it does offer a solid starting point with which to expand in the future. Yay! You said home portal. Find and investigate the myth tablets. Search through the tall leaf piles around Hollingwood. Okay. I was hoping to get some steel or titanium, but I forgot how long the titanium takes. So it wants me to check.
Not there yet. Where's Collingwood? You feel like Collingwood is around here somewhere. It's not up there. Like, I remember Collingwood is one of those places I used to get to another location. They had stuff going on. Like, up here, it feels like this kind of area. Is one of the cities. Like, I want to think it was over here somewhere. It's either over here or up here area, I want to say. Uh, let's quickly go in here and get this out of our inventory real fast so I don't actually bring that out. Uh, quests. Find out what happened to the ancient island tribe. We have the tablets. A new leaf. Strange energy, which we don't have what we need for. The green ground. Um, dig the green ground around uh, between piles of trash. Uh, at the Rock Passage, southwest of Old Chalice. Okay, well, at least that one tells us exactly where we need to be going. So let's go to Old Chalice. Well, actually, first, let's go and see if we have... No, actually, you know what we should do first? Um, is we should choose to sleep. For the maximum allow us to. So we get that titanium to upgrade one of our weapons or something. What are you all excited about? Home portal. Transports the user home and back again. Okay. I think... Where did I see that we could... We could, um... There's mana chunk is something I could make. Um, and I only opted not to make it yet. Because I didn't know if I would want or need it. Okay, like, everything is bouncing there, so let's go ahead and upgrade our stuff. I want to say as well as the machines I have over there were what I needed to do it. Okay, so upgrade our gear. Alright, so we can upgrade the material transporter. I should be able to do both of those. I don't really care about that or that, so let's go with the katana once. And then the material transporter. Go ahead and do the shift trio just because that makes it one less thing I ever have to think about. Berserker charm. I need more electronics. All right. Yeah, literally the katana, like I just need more of what's already being made here. Uh, we already took all the stuff for the compressor, that's fine. Okay, so let's drop this off. We're going to... Yeah, so we have... There's the fuel cell there, there's fuel cells there. I don't know what's down there. We have these two here. None of the other stuff are being marked. So, we can go to... Old Chalice. That's Wayward. I'm just really trying to, uh, Figure out where that town was I'm supposed to... Oh, here, I can just click and drag. And it's supposed to do the piles. There's Greyhaven, Sanctuary, West, all Mandrake, Pinnacle, Expedition Base. That's all Expedition stuff. Um, 
Yeah, this is this is the one big city that we just went to that we still need to explore, and we'll need to do that. This one I need um something to get through there. I probably have to go through another direction. Same with that side. We lack we need to get through there. You know what? I bet you it might be this town. That's right. We can go up here. So we'll go to the we'll go to the frozen link. We'll go to that uh that point up there. Um, because worst case, we can drop back and see what happens there. I don't have to get through that, right? Nope, a hundred. Okay, so run down here real fast and see if we can make happen with this. So fast travel. I think, I think that's what I want. Oh, right. I need to change all my outfit. Um... Fast travel, here for just a minute. So put our winter coat. And that. Then switch out our ice block for a heating pack. And now you can fast travel back up there. Probably one of those things that I also should take the time, in some of these ones I have set up the thing where I can kill the monsters and they stay dead, I should go hunting for them. Today is the first day of the rest of my life. I mean, yes. Repeat. The pale protocol is in motion. Refer to your cobalt manual and await for further instructions from the crown. This is an automated recording center K23, the current station. Alright, so let's break a bunch of stuff and materials again. need to break up more of the other circuitry and such. That house is blocking this path. But what did, what did I just do? Oh, well, that's not what I wanted to do. Alright, let's Let's hit our little waypoint here, because I accidentally use things I don't want to use right away. I use the thing that lets me send all my goods back home. Oh, we leveled. Um, oh yeah, I'm supposed to also... You know, keep the farming going. What did I unlock now? Recycler. I have enough for the recycler. Yep. Material Collector. Instantly collects nearby materials handy for collecting anything dropped in unreachable spots. Okay, well we don't have that yet, that's fine. Oh, I want to put you on the list of things to make as well. And you... Alright, so... Now I may think that way. A couple places up here. There's a building on the far northwest. Because I want to do... There's going to be, like, hidden... I'm going to call them boss enemies or whatever. 
We want to find those. Because those are the things that give it so when I kill enemies, they stay dead. Just kind of the idea. Alright, I don't have enough wood. This is why we teleported back to the entrance, or back to our base. Nothing is what you are. Oh, we have... Yes, I changed the wrong thing. Alright, yeah, so I'm gonna have to uh, get the better wood plank things to be able to cross this spot. That's fine. We're gonna check out, kill some of the enemies nearby. Explore a little bit, because that's... We can find just random things that we still need. Yeah, I can't get around there. Alright. So now I'll go down here, which is the place we were tending and going in the first place. There's also just another enemy area where I don't have to worry about enemies causing me problems. All right. Imagine late game, you, you'll probably get a weapon that can break most materials, regardless of whether it's, like, blunt or sharp or whatever. Like, you'll have a couple of things that require something special, but... Only a couple that won't. Alright. I don't really care about that at the moment. Nice. Okay, so it appears we're at the right spot now. So we got the key for the diner. And the diner is... down there. So we get this quest knocked out. I don't know if I even need those things anymore. But, I mean, they're there, so why not? There's a dig point up here. Alright, like that. Give me those circuit boards I needed. Hmm. 
Now there's things that if I get a blue orb, I can fight a bunch of waves of enemies for stuff. I don't have a blue orb, so I can't use it. Missed beads? Uh, okay, where did I miss the beads? There they are. Thank you. The good news, it seems like I'm going to have so many beads, I probably don't have to worry about them too much. Maybe like 300-something of them. Still worth grabbing them. Especially the ones that are like off in the middle of nowhere. I'm liable to like never notice them. They're also finite. Yep. Yay, endless trash. We finished a side quest. And we learned how to make tenderloin. Cool. All right, so that's one side quest knocked out. I go ahead and kill these ones down. Well, I go around and kill those ones down there since I know they're there. Clear out more of the area. Basically, run down any red marks. Like, any time in an area that I can clear, if I see a red mark, we're just going to knock it out real fast. Very good drop off, though. Okay. Yes, there's the mana gems. Cook. So I need one, two, three, four carrots. One, two, three, four, five mushrooms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. One, two, three, four tenderloin. To make tenderloin. Which gave us a slight increase in our melee damage, permanently. Coming around to Buddy so I can just one tap and be done with this. Alright. That's curious. So I can't damage with it or really interact with it. I'm assuming we'll be able to get in there later. Go ahead and search you. Uh, we'll upgrade this. Oh, it wasn't an upgrade, it was an invent, wasn't it? Um, invent. Material collector. Yep. Yep. And they require match chunks. Now, are you an accessory? Am, am I led to believe that? 
No. Are you special equipment? You are. That's fine. Okay, so we finished that side quest. The last stand. Kill shelter monsters and go into the shelter. Dirty money. Find the spot indicated in the photo at the Grand Mansion. That was to the desert. Repair the train, which is that, which is saying I need to go to a place named Solaris. But we weren't we haven't found Solaris yet. That's a teleporter thing. That's the tall leaves. And then the myth tablets, I think I just have to explore for. Let's kill these guys over here real fast. <laughs> Alright. How are we doing so far as clearing this area? Are we Are we close? Or are we just like not even remotely close? I can't remember where... So there's 33 enemies still in the area. Unfortunately, I have to go back to the array to see um where. I don't know why I keep going to this thing. Okay. Um. So we cleared out most of this, and there isn't a path up here. So the path there is going to either be up in this area, over here, or over there. But it's definitely not along this. It could be that um. When I repair this bridge, yeah, when I repair that bridge, it looks like there's a bridge here. Which is probably how I get there. Um, and I have to keep working my way that way for the fuel cell. Right now I need the train parts for a place called Solaris, and we have not found Solaris yet. Because, like, there's nothing down there. We keep checking all the, uh, like, all surrounding areas. We're just not finding a place called Solaris. That's a that's a fixable bridge there. And that's that's the train we need to fix and then this bridge I have to come from the other side. So I'm not seeing anywhere else here that's called Solaris. It could be like an individual house or whatever. Got a fixable bridge there. That I don't remember anything about. Okay, let's fast travel back to our house to pick up the wood, which fast travel the nearest one is nowhere nearby. Um, Actually, I changed that. Let's run down in this area, because there's nothing down there from the looks of it, which means it's a perfect place for hiding some of the stuff I'm looking for, like these tablet fragments or whatever. Um, That's okay. Like, if it becomes a thing that's, like, just straight up blocking me from progression, like, at that point we might, you know, go pull it up kind of thing. Right now I have enough things to work on that it's fine. Prohibited. Continuing excavations is considered hostile act against the crown. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the crown station. Alright, well. I was expecting more down here, but that's fine. Um so we need to go here. I I really wish. Instead of this working the way it does for these controls, that I could just like map this tool to one, this tool to two, this tool to three, and not have to do the whole cycle through. Or for stuff like fishing, I didn't have to like go equip the tool and do it, just I'd run up and push E. Because to me, having to choose the tool out of my inventory doesn't add anything. It's just another thing that, um,. I have to, like, inventory juggle. And it's not even like it's a thing that I have to go, oh, I need to go back to base to grab my weapon to come back here. 
And you know, there's an inventory slot consideration or something like that. Alright, so we killed all those. Drop all this off. Alright, how many enemies are left in this zone? 25. I'm assuming there's just a big bunch of enemies shoved in one of these corners here. Oh, it's probably all up in this area. Because that's part of the zone. So it's probably it's probably all of this here. Oh, actually, this whole area is there. So it's probably enemies up there and over there. Not a lot, actually. Um, Building up there in Fairwood... Go check that building up there in Fairwood area. Oh, there's some enemies right there. Oh, I could hit that one fast. Um, alert? You're gonna you're gonna do your thing, right? Yeah, fire bots a source. Well, I don't know why the alert didn't fire, um, Zinder, but thanks so much for the tier one sub. You've been sub to the channel for three months and I really do appreciate that. Um that's making me concerned that, that alert didn't go. Why 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 did you not alert? Events, all the alerts are active. That was a subscription alert. Make sure you're all working fine. Um, we're gonna manually push a button just to see if it works. Thank huh. you, Firebot, for subscribing for ten months. Why did that not trigger? Test message. Huh. Okay. I mean, again, sorry I didn't get the alert. I don't. I don't know why that. Oh right, I need to run for it. Okay. Well, you know, it's not like the huge deal, but I do like to try and recognize any time, you know, people are supporting the channel directly. But regardless, I hope you're enjoying your advertising free viewing as well as access to the emote. so thank you again for that continued support. Why wouldn't that trigger? Watch, it'll be always things that, like, 10, 20 minutes from now, it'll just be like, oh, here you go, because, like, it was running super slow on, you know... Twitch's end or stream. You know, it's probably just Twitch being a buggy thing. That's what I'm going to guess. Is that Twitch is having a buggy mess and so it didn't go through. Like, it went through as in, you got your sub, but it didn't go through like the notification thing that lets my alerts work. Because the one I just did is me testing internal of the bot itself. Yeah, it's Twitch being twitchy. All right. Like, I do need to be breaking more, because I'm running out of electronics, um, which I do need. Is that a red herring? Uh, I don't remember what kind of fish that is. We're gonna find out here in a second. It is a... Red herring, yes. So we've all filled up our inventory. There's a fire down there. 
We'll shred a bunch more of the, um... Oh, right, I actually have a thing for this now. So I don't have to run back nearly as much. Right, 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 right. We're figuring a lot of these are gonna have, like, electric circuits and scrap and all that stuff that I need anyways. I have oaks completely. I make have destroying everything as soon as I'm able. Yeah, I need to be better about it. It's I'm kind of like chasing the progression. Um, and I'm kind of circling back now because I'm like, okay, I have something I should have more of. Um, it's not that it's not available or something, or I don't have the tech to do it. I just haven't been destroying enough. Because specifically, like, the electronics I need more of. Um, there's some of just the base materials I can upgrade stuff with that I need more of. I'm getting low on fabric. But especially this is one of the appeals of the game, is the fact that, like... You can destroy almost everything. There's only a couple exceptions, which are usually, like, mostly it's it's stuff that's important for, like, story or, like, functionally important. Um, with a rare exception. So transport will help a lot. Okay, and then we got a bunch of rubber and all that here, which I need more of. Okay, we'll get through all this real fast, and we'll move on to the next area. But you're not going to take apart everything. Like, that's the kind of thing I could see, like, if there's achievements for that kind of thing. That's the kind of stuff I could see doing off-stream. Because that's the kind of stuff I can edit a video for a little bit, uh, start encoding. And when you start encoding, you can't really edit another video, at least not with the software I've got. It kind of does not cooperate well if you do that. Um, so what you usually do at that point is you just find something to fill time. Now, if I'm productive, I'll be good, and, you know, that's gonna go, and I'll you know, reach out to different companies about, hey, like, can I get a hold of a key for this game or that? Or, hey, are you looking for content creators to sponsor your game? Or, you know, do your social network stuff, do your stream cleanup stuff, fix your alerts, yada, yada, yada. Uh, but sometimes you just kind of need, like, the mental break. And so when that happens, it's usually a good time for me to take a little, you know, quick little step away and go, all right, let me just pop into a game, do, like, one day of, like, Sunhaven or whatever, you know, like, 10, 15, 20 minutes or whatever, pop in, do a thing, then get back to your, you know, what you're supposed to be doing to be productive, you know, before then popping in, you know, that's the reason why Sunhaven and Big Ambitions have been really good for that kind of game for me lately, which is why I've been playing so much of them. Because Sunhaven, the days are 20 minutes by default, which is what I leave it at. So I can kind of hop in, put in 20 minutes, like for a quick little break, jump in, put in the work of editing a video, you know, 23 minutes there, get that, knock out one or two things. Okay, so that's the closest relay that way. Yeah, I'll run for that relay. But you kind of can, like, pop back and forth. Alright. Because I can, like, break all of this stuff. But, um, it takes time. Just frankly. That's kind of the biggest part of it. It just takes time. There's some there's some area up here. We've got 50 enemies missed. We'll take we'll take a peek up here because we gotta find those um tablets or whatever. That's right. It's like oh I should go back to the pyramids. Like that's right. I couldn't go into the pyramid because I have to have more of the tablets found. I can't remember if I have to have them all found or just most of them found or what the cutoff was. Um, so I want to go and check in like random little nooks in the mountains and random little outcroppings by the water. 
All right, yeah, there's nothing up here. I guess one I would be okay with, if you remember where Collingwood is, because we've been there, I'm just, this is memory being the problem, not, like, discovery. The Solaris I haven't seen yet, or at least I don't believe I've seen yet. Um, so I don't want to be fed that. But, like, running around looking for a place I've already found previously, like, I wouldn't mind, you know, telling me where that... It's on another map? Right. Hey, Undead Baron, how's it going? Give me a moment, and I will get you a shout-out. Actually, I'll do it right here. So, shout-out for Undead Baron. That's... Every time, I have to, I have to go for the A, at least. Because just... Dev, dev brain, we use autocomplete very heavily in dev. Um, so I go U N D E, and then I hit the button. It goes undefined. It's like, oh come on, fine. I'll put the A in there. But for those who haven't checked out Under Baron, absolutely fantastic content creator. You're gonna want to go to the top of the chat and hit that little heart if you haven't already done so. Um, does a whole variety of things. Does like lots of horror games. Does lots of uh, collaborative stuff. Been playing quite a bit of Redfall and having a really good time with it. Um. And just generally good times over there. Uh, played a little, played a little sneaky, sneaky borrow trauma with Undead Baron yesterday on their stream, uh, because I was supposed to be being productive and it looked like fun. And then I was like, okay, I'm just gonna quickly do this real fast. Um, oh, I about ran right into the water. That would have been dumb. Man, I had fun with that. Borrow trauma is one I want to play more and get better at because I've only played like twice. <laughs> All right, um, so let's see what we got going on. We've killed almost all the zombies and that in the area. All right, uh, let's see. I need to get to the fast travel up here at that link tower, so let's go northeast. Uh, that way we can get back to our main base, see if we got a bunch of titanium ready. Actually, first of all, can I break this? Yeah. Get our steel off of this. The orphan chickens. I what orphan chickens? Got some materials. Up. Oh, I missed an enemy here previously. Sorry about that. I didn't want you to be all alone. And there's another one over here. That's fine. I don't care about being hit by you. Yeah, no, I hope you've been having yourself a, uh, a fantastic uh, day, Baron. You think you'll be doing more Redfall today? Or, like, um... Like, what do you got going on? This is basically your opportunity to plug your stream. <laughs> um, like, I know people have been giving a lot of, like, really negative feedback to... A red fall. From what I've seen, it doesn't look bad. Like the frame, the frame rate thing, you know, sure, but that's like a dime a dozen with AAA games these days. Not even only exclusively AAA. I shouldn't make it strictly about that. But like optimization's been kind of the big issue with big release games for a while. I mean, when Cyberpunk dropped, it had optimization problems. When Fallout 76 dropped, it had optimization problems. Um, when No Man's Sky first dropped, it had optimization problems. Like. Optimization problems are just kind of the way they go now. I'm not saying that's a good thing, but for as much flack as it's getting, it's like, have you have you have you not bought a game in the last ten years? Other than like small indie games? Alright. So I killed a bunch of them just because we can. Just flexing a little. Let's fast travel back home. If we get the uh if we get the mana not the mana beads, but the bigger one. Uh, that'll be the closest one to home. The bigger one, I'm supposed to be able to fast travel directly home and then back. Which would be fantastic versus having to do this little bit of a hike each time. Can I break these walls yet? Yes, I can. 
And so is the magic of this game. Where this thing held me out for all this time. And not only am I able to get in here, but I can say, you know what? I don't want you to exist anymore. For how long you held me back, you don't get to be a thing anymore. It is really satisfying to break stuff, by the way. <laughs> There's sort of a weird catharsis in just smashing everything and making the ground level with nothing left on it. I stop because my inventory is getting full and I don't actually care about bricks that much. Not yet, at least. I'm sure later I'll regret not taking it all apart and have to run around and break it all anyways, but still. Okay. We can pop over here to our bonfire. It should have a bunch of titanium and iron and all that waiting for us. It's been smelting while we're gone. It'll hopefully mean I'll be able to upgrade my katana and other stuff. Why are you not live? We can't cancel that for a moment. Okay, so we can build the Uncommon Compressor. And we should be able to repair some of those bridges that were out. So upgrade our gear, gear. Oh man, there's so much. Um, Before we upgrade stuff, let's invent new stuff. So the Uncommon Compressor. Oh yeah, and that's... I, I appreciate that they're like, you gathered things. So there's a rare compressor. Yeah, it just gives me more carry weight for materials. Uh, we can get our hunting rifle. A counterweight. Attacks made with pinpoint accuracy deal more damage. Okay. Oh, it's just critical hit damage. A bandolier gives me extra use with my throwing weapons. Yes, yeah, so the rare compressor, I need more titanium. The portal, I need mana chunks. Um, and that, I just need lumber. Which lumber, I, I like, that would just be me taking stuff apart. Okay, so let's go here. What what is what is my lumber? Okay, so I do need just straight up more lumber. And I do need more titanium. I have to just start tearing stuff apart, aren't I? That's fine. We've made more progress on our on our equipment. Let's fast travel to someplace else we know we have like side quests and all that. I mean honestly, how fast the trees go down now? Can't cut all the trees, that's fine. Not gonna sit here and Picky choosy the trees. I'm entirely too lazy for that. Those are stone. Oh, don't those give me fabric? I think these give me fabric. Because fabric's another thing I'm low on. Yeah, those give me fabric. Do more sandbags, or is that just one I overlooked? Probably one I overlooked. That's fine. Um, alright. We run over here and figure out where we're fast traveling to next. Okay. 
So we got the fuel cell from over here. My, my assumption is Solaris is in this area. We also haven't explored. Let's go to the area in Central we haven't explored yet. I mean... Okay. So the thing, the thing my brain's going through right now that I'm trying to figure out is, um... I need to, uh... I need to go with some of these areas that we cleared out most of the stuff and see if I can't get in our, one of the large blue things. Okay. So I've killed a whole bunch. Yeah, so we have, like, we've killed all the enemies down here, but we need to kill these enemies up here. Um, because we'll more than likely find the fuel cell up there. We also got that... Wait, do I have lumber on me? I am... I am ADHDing real bad. Which I haven't... I haven't formally been diagnosed, but I'm well on the way, and let's face it, it's just a matter of time. <laughs> um... All right, so it's basically all the stuff in this top area we haven't explored. All right, so let's just start wiping stuff out because we'll find potentially a boss enemy to give me a uh, large blue orb. Maybe find other materials. All right, this whole thing we're going to have to run around here. And do this while we're here. Get it knocked out. Okay. Which I'm excited. Um, I did get... Wait, are you are you telling me it's going to already be delivered? What? It shouldn't be delivered for like a week. Oh, okay. No, it's not. Um, I ordered a planner and everything that it's supposed to be a planner that is good for people who have difficulty um, actually doing planners. Um, it's very specifically people who have, like, ADHD and similar neurodivergent conditions and all that. And I'm giving it a try because I have yet to find a planner that I can get my brain to put up with for more than a couple of days to a week. Um, which is annoying because usually when I start with, like, a new planning strategy, I can do it for, like, a week or two, and it works really good, and then it stops working entirely for me. And then repeat the process forever. So I'm I'm hoping. All right, so can't go that way. Let's go around the other. There we go. I'm also just trying to explore places I haven't been to yet for those um tablets and all the art things. Well, that'll be a curious one. That's another box that's just very inconveniently positioned. Well, how the heck do I get to that last island? Wasn't a bridge on this side or that side. Huh. Probably probably get something later that helps with that. Thing to let me jump gaps or something. Alright, well this is a big old bunch of bumpkiss over here. Fair enough. And our fishing spot to deal with. Because fishing spots, you do them once and then you tap them out. There are limited resources as far as I've been able to tell. I could be wrong. So it just seems like it's worth my while if I happen to be running by one to just pull the fish out real quick. If not, you know, whatever. I get a lot, of, like, the fishing XP has been really good. I'm getting half a thousand fish. Or half a thousand XP for every individual fish. So plunking down and pulling out like 10 fish is really good XP. Alright, 
right, where's your thorns over here? Um, oh yeah, there's a campfire right there. I was about to say, it's like, oh yeah, I actually do need the materials that I get out of breaking stoves and fridges, so... Oh, yeah, you got me. I'm slouching. I also need the fabric and everything else, let's just... Tear apart the guts of this place a bit. Alright, so we'll ship it all back home. I've got those things, I might as well use them. Alright. So I'll stretch real fast since we had that redeem, and we'll get back to it. Yeah, so as I mentioned earlier on the stream, the plan for the stream is basically we're going to do work on this dismantle run we've got going for a little bit. Um, and then probably around 9 p.m. EDT, I'm going to be switching over to some sponsored content, a game called Night Crawlers, uh, as in knights, as in swords and shields and all that. Um, that is a dungeon crawler uh, action RPG style game but um with wobble physics so it is probably going to be absolute shenanigans and a hilarious time uh, we'll do that for a while and then depending ow depending on how things go we will uh see what we do after that got a bunch of keys for just a bunch of random games i've been meaning to try that'll be one possibility, if we're just having a lot of fun with night crawlers, we'll do more of that. Um, I don't think we'll circle back. Like, what I'll probably do is for a couple of streams, I might do like start with um this mantle for a little while till we get get it farther along, um, and then maybe switch up part way into the stream to some of these games I've been getting keys for and all that kind of stuff. Cause I would like to, not necessarily like a hundred percent or anything like that. But I would like to at least finish the main story of Dismantle or something. I've been getting very self-conscious about how many games I start on stream and then get only so far into and then, you know, the next thing comes out and I bail on it. I'm starting to get that feeling like I'm Netflix, you know. Start a game, get about a season into get a season or two into the into the show, and then just, you know, abandon it so you never get closure on any of it. Which, you know, feels like people just wouldn't want to stick around and see that because you're getting to see the start of everything but never getting to see how it goes. I know it's not actually how it translates, but it feels that way. Yay, we opened a big gate. I didn't realize there was a big gate up here. All right, um, still need to kill more of the enemies in the area. There's only 28 enemies left in this region, area, whatever you want to call it. Most likely they're all over here to the east. I'm gonna try and quickly track them down, because my hope is we tracked in the last of them. Hey. That will get the opportunity to get our large blue orb. Oh no, 28 was the other region. We're at 76. It's fine. The big thing I'm worried about is just kind of running around here, knocking stuff out to um, look for those tablets and large blue orbs. Just find what we can of all that. I 
All right. Oh, there's another one of those things. So you see those two, like, curved swords down there? If I had a large blue orb, I can go there and basically do kind of like a wave-based fight thing. Like, just try and survive it kind of thing. But um, I have to have a large blue orb to do it. So I've been able to continue clearing newer areas. Or do those things for their rewards. All right, a slimy guttural sound intensifies. Uh, Ex-humans aren't the only danger around these parts. Kill five mortar pod pods in 80 seconds. So I'm going to decline that for a second just to queue up my grenades. And now I will accept it. And done the time to spare. Cool. You feel older and wiser? Oh, did I level up? And pretty soon I'll have to hit a campfire because I'm running out of charges for all this stuff. Let's go ahead and just as a precaution. Gonna bandage ourselves up. All right. The good news is you end up going through enemies pretty quick. Like you've already killed off. Like I was hoping you'd target the other one. Because we've already killed about a third of the enemies that we had left in this area. Plus we're exploring parts of the area we hadn't been yet. Not it. Okay. Go and kill these two up here. It has to be a campfire right here, which is perfect. Stop, stop getting distracted by those. So I got enemies to the north and enemies in the building right next to me. Um, so let's hit this. We're going to kill the enemies to the north first. They're going to circle back down and kill the other ones. Okay. So the squirrel, pretty much. Um, all right. The thing. I should have grabbed that way earlier in the game, but it's fine. Alright, so we kill these ones as long as they're in the same area. If it switches regions, we'll worry about them later. Nope, same area. I'm pretty sure this line up here is probably the boundary, so this one may or may not be considered this part or not. Either way, it's dead. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure this boundary right here we're seeing is the boundary between this region and the next. Is there anything over here real fast before we turn around? No, nah, it's just path over there. Okay. Let's circle back down. We're down to 30-something enemies, so we're more than halfway through the enemies that were in this region. We'll pop down here, try and wipe this out. There might be a couple tucking the trees up here. Nah, it's right, right there. We'll check up there in a minute, though. Oh, there's a fridge. We might get a new recipe. Should break that for the electronics here in a minute. Got two over here. Is that one in a prison cell? All right. I think it is clear that the incidents are not isolated anymore. This cannot be contained, but we can still fight it. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. Okay, those guys are going to be real dangerous, so my hope is we can deal with all this up here. That isn't going to be nearly as dangerous. Is that not a gate? That's not a gate. We can deal with all this that's not as dangerous. Get them out of the way. Why the music uh, gets so sad? It's just a playlist, so it's going to switch tracks. It's lo-fi. I wouldn't actually call this sad music. You're just being silly? Oh, okay. <laughs> Like, I need to be taking apart this whole building, but... Well, unblock it. That's not what you want to hear. That's not what you want to hear. I knew the moment I started that roll, I was like, I am too close to the water. Well, that's fine. It's alright, we killed pretty much everything else over there. I'll switch to my grenades, the next time I see them, I'll just slap one in the face of the grenade and they'll be done. Yeah, the gun now. Yeah, the gun, because I haven't upgraded, its damage isn't really there yet. Dealt with. Hey, Stair Spice. How's it going? Yeah, imagine the gun once I upgrade, it'll be pretty good. But right now, it's pretty much its base thing. Going well? Well, it's pretty well. Oh, alright. Mini cinematic.
the ruthless pitcher. Okay, so that's what we're looking for, because that'll give me a um large blue eye orb or whatever it is. It'll give us good stuff. So what I want to do... <laughs> okay, maybe I was supposed to fight him earlier in the game. Because we just walked up behind him and said, how do you feel about a landmine? And did him in in one hit. That's actually pretty underwhelming. <laughs> oh, game progression. You can be really silly sometimes. So then the question comes, where am I going to prioritize using that so I can clear out the enemies in an area? I'm thinking the desert. Yeah, I think the desert. The, desert, the desert's almost certainly the right choice because that's got really tough enemies that I don't want to deal with. I've got multiple quests there, and exploration's a pain with all the enemies that are around. So I can just go through that. Everyone who has chosen to stay on our island is welcome to seek shelter at the Underground. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. All right, we got another one of these tower things. Are you going to give me another one of the supplies? Awesome. So now I can make um, two of those defense guns. And then there's the bunker for it. That's good to know. There's only five enemies left in the entire region. And that bridge comes from the other side, and we can't go this way. That's fine. It's not too surprising. All right. Oh, we were starting to overheat when we went down there. That's annoying. Makes sense, though. All right. Oh, right. I have a handheld scanner. I don't have to run all the way back. I was about to say, it's like, all right, now I got to run all the way back. Um, Right now you get out of here. Okay, so I've got... Those are the five enemies. I've got one just up left of us. And then this zone will be clear. There's you. Check to see if you had anything interesting up here I have to worry about. I mean, there's one of those containers, which is always nice, but they generally just give me okay-ish to good materials, so I've not been that motivated to keep doing them other than at some point I want to do them because I'm sure there'll be an achievement or something. Alright, so next two are straight up this way. Probably in that one shaded spot right up here on the right. Nope, nope, still farther to the left. All right. I'm not going to do this for, like, every zone or anything. All right, nothing else up here. I'm going to get one over there and one down there. So that one's going to be crossing the docks. And I'm not sure how I get to that one on the bottom left, just off the top of my head. We'll have to run that way and see. I think both of those are going to have to go. Yeah, I'm going to cross the bridge to our south and then work our way over. That's fine. I know mean, we can fast travel out of here. Oh, I should have broke one of those fridges. It's fine. I need to be more aggressive about just breaking things in general. I'm kind of hoping that like my next major weapon upgrade will be something I can just break lots of stuff really easily. Because if that's the case, then I can run around and just slap down walls as I'm moving. Yeah, so it'll be over here. Double check my... Yeah, so I go around this giant hole. Not that way, because that way is blocked. 
How do I get around you? It's fine, I can go through this. You can run down this way. We opened up this shortcut previously. And you're over here. I'll probably have to go farther south to get around, I assume. And there's the fast travel down there. Okay. The home teleport is the big one I want to make happen. Because that's going to make getting stuff like titanium and better wood and all that way easier. It's not just a teleport home, it's a teleport home and then back again. Alright, so one of the, like, or sorry, yeah, one of the enemies is up right here. And then the other one's farther west. Yeah. Handle fish while we're here. And then we'll go to the west and get the last enemy. I'm kind of glad I got the skills for fishing early, just because it makes it so much faster. It's not super disruptive. Okay, so you are going to be that walkway over there. Alright, so we're going to have to go straight left first. Avoid the big lava crack in the ground. Cross you, turn up. And now we're going to go to the desert region and start clearing stuff out there, as well as everything else you can make happen, right? I need your electronics, man. Okay, so you're like right past the bonfire, aren't you? Yep. And break this for parts as well. Because they have fully cleared everything out of this area. There's no more enemies left. to fully understand the phenomena around Marma. Do not disturb their work. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the crash. Alright, don't care. Grenades. Alright. That should do us good. We will check about inventing stuff. I cannot invent any of the remaining things. We will choose upgrade. So I'm going to burn our first amount of shard on making the material transporter maxed out. So take that off our list. Um, you just need rubber and fabric, so you're done. Titanium and mana beads, sure. Iron and ceramics, absolutely. Iron and ceramics, absolutely. Alright, so we need rubber. Okay, so, with what we found, I'm going to need to fast travel. Where's my nearest fast travel option? There. No. Yeah, we'll just... Yeah, that won't be hard. i just go west and then up. Okay. 
Because then if I see opportunities for rubber or other useful materials, I can just smash up some buildings and all that. I need more electronics, and I need more of that. Oh, actually, I don't have enough of the recipes set. Um, It's fine. We'll deal with it. Because I got, like, two here. Oh, well, there's a fishing spot I hadn't found previously. Let's actually run around here real fast, see what we find. So like 26 enemies in this region as well. I'm mostly trying to check for if we have any of the tablets, because usually when you go to these places way off to the side, that's typically where I'm finding the tablets, is just areas that you don't naturally end up walking to. There's an enemy over here. There you are. Alright, so I'll put the, um... That on, so we will check, because... Yeah, so we got one bunch of enemies down there and a couple scattered. We can deal with that real fast. There's only 20 of them or so. Assuming I can reach it. It's one of those things we gotta teleport for, we'll worry about later. Which is very much looking like something along those lines. Um, alright. You get in from down there. Alright, so that's not gonna happen right now, because I'm not going the whole way around to deal with it. Um, yeah, so just go back to the power station. That'll be a place to check out later. The big thing is I want to get to fast travel, get to the desert. Um, I'll need more electronics to do it. But we set up so that when we kill enemies, they stay dead there. And then we'll just run through and just start knocking out all the enemies. Alright, before we fast travel, I need to go here and change you to cold. And put on our safari wear. Fast travel to the sunburnt desert. Okay, so I can do the deadly transmission. That's the thing that makes stuff stay dead when I kill it. Oh, we can do the scanner. Cool. So when I kill stuff, it stays dead now. So let's get murdering. dicey as heck um yeah so we're looking for that's not how you do that looking for Solaris we're looking for train parts we're looking for the mansion compound where we can go and dig up stuff we got a bunch of stuff to do in a bunch of places Alright, let's get a wrench and just start smashing through some of the stuff as we're going around. Alright, so that's actual concrete. I can't get through that yet. Just because I know I need rubber, and there's a bunch of rubber in that room. We're going to take the time to grab it.
Okay, drop you off. Grab those circuits I need, drop you off. And then it's time to start killing a bunch of stuff again. Okay. All right, so I got all that area cleared out, and we can just start working our way down. Because I know the mansion's down, and that's one place I need to do. Okay. We will take the time to kill enemies when we see them, since they have set to be cleared. It also means I'll be running around so I have more of an opportunity of noticing just random stuff that might be of interest, such as the tablets and all that. We also run along this road and all that, which I apparently have not revealed yet. Okay. They're nice and piled up on each other so you can get the grenade in there. Make sure there's nothing in the tiny little unrevealed spot. That's probably the reason it wasn't revealed, is I probably saw the enemies at a distance and went, nope, not doing it. Um, what? Girl, there's an NPC in Fallout 4 trying to scam me. Call me a derogatory against people with. What? Is that a mod or something? Because back with Fallout 4, I don't even think people talked about neurodivergence yet. Like, it was a thing, certainly, but... That's not neurodivergence. Neurodivergence and like serious mental health problems are not one and the same. They can co co occur and coexist and all that, but yeah. Um, and I'm not gonna allow them message because that specific word I absolutely do not want in the chat. But yeah, that's not neurodivergence, you're... Yeah, no, I... absolutely. If someone calls, like, someone a derogatory word with that, then that is the correct behavior. In the games, for the record, like, I'm not advocating for people to, like, gun people down for, you know, saying terrible things. Like, inappropriate, like, inappropriate, like, scale. But vi video games, you know. You can just ignore the whole proportional, you know, punishment for the crime kind of thing. Alright, well we got more enemies down here. I'm basically just letting myself be baited into killing all the enemies, because they don't respawn now, so... It's just a thing you don't have to deal with. But yeah, nah, it's, um... It's the thing, I've had people ask me before, like, you know, when you have, like, a bad guy in a game, for example, and you have a bad guy in a game, and they're all sorts of awful, like, they're they're hitting all the ists and isms you can come up with, like, they're just straight up awful, and, like, what my thoughts are about that, 
And I don't... It's it's kind of one that I, I go back and forth on that, okay, on one hand, people who face those kinds of prejudices in real life, you don't want them to have to deal with it in their entertainment. On the other hand, it's the bad guy you're going to shoot in the face later. And so it is one of those things like, okay, that's probably one of those ones that like individual to individual is going to have very different, very different feelings on that about whether that should should or shouldn't be in the game in the first place, or the fact that there's a bad guy and they're going to get their upcomings, you know, makes it a good or whatever thing. Because, like, I'm fine, like, I'm fine with a movie or whatever where you have, like, the main guy walks up and he ends up being, like, over-the-top massages and immediately gets, like, punched in the mouth by Wonder Woman or whatever. Like, I'm, I'm very much cool with that kind of thing, because, like, okay... He's the bad guy. They're demonstrating that this is bad behavior, and he gets very immediate consequences for his actions. Or their actions, I shouldn't assume. But, I mean, I guess it would... It doesn't matter. But, like, it's one of those things that's like, ah, I don't know. That's those ones that's, like, definitely one people should be open to discussion about. Um... Those terms exist, denying them is doing a disservice. I wouldn't necessarily agree to that. Like, if we're talking about, like, hateful terms kind of thing. You know, derogatory terms. These these aren't, like, descriptors for things that are accurate. These are just people being awful. Um, I don't, like, when it comes to, like, derogatory terms, the only time I would typically use that is to express, hey, this word, don't use it. Um, because those things do have a harm associated with them that even if you don't mean them in a harmful way kind of thing, it does enable those who do use them for a harmful way to be feel more comfortable willing to like put them out there because then they can always be like, oh no, 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 but I didn't mean it that way. It's like, yeah, you did. <laughs> Look, man, you did until you got called out on it and now you're trying to retreat. <laughs> Like, language is an evolving thing, and we could certainly look at language and say, you know what? We can get rid of those. Uh, some will be awful. My only point is education. Well, right. For educational purposes, you'll say, like, hey, word whatever is harmful. Here's some of the reasons why that word is harmful. This is what led it to being harmful. Like, there's definitely value in educating yourself on how language changes and the nuance and certain words and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, Dev so Dusty said, yeah, my son started saying a really horrible racial slur the other week. He's six. Very hard approaching. Yeah. Yeah, because more than likely, and I don't know the situation, a lot of, I shouldn't say more likely, a lot of the times the way that comes about is someone thinks they're being funny by, you know, tricking some kid into saying something really awful. And they're like, haha, that's funny. You know, I'm getting this kid to say this awful thing. And then you go, okay, well, this kid doesn't know why that word is bad they don't yet understand why like like these types of problems but you also can't have your kid running around shouting these things because of a whole range of reasons and it's like okay i have to nip this in the bud but how do i navigate it other than just like because it's an unsatisfactory answer to say we don't say that word and the kid goes why it's like we just don't like that that to me is not is not effective thing. How you hurt so much. Yeah, and I I don't envy parents having to navigate that thing. Like that kind of stuff where And it and it doesn't even have to be those kind of things either, just you know, why is this behavior bad? Like, alright, well, now I gotta open the can of worms about this whole thing that my child has been, you know, fortunate enough to not have to face. But at the same time, it is a reality we live in. Like, it can be stuff that's like, well, why do we always have to lock the door? It's like, well, you know, there are people out there who are not great. Who are willing to take your things and do even worse stuff. 
And that one not being that hard to address compared to far more difficult things to discuss. And it's and it's discussions that have to happen too. Like because if you don't if you don't inform your kids about it, it's a thing that they can not be tricked into, I'd say more coerced. Where they don't realize the negative implications of what they're doing, and then someone else kind of, you know, if you don't teach them what's right, they'll they'll kind of get them to do things that they shouldn't otherwise. Uh, let's see, what happens when there's a valid use for a word that's commonly derogatory? There's almost always a better word. Is this the way it is? There's almost always just a better word. Um, I will caution about using words, just saying. Like, the usual the usual one that comes up is the R word. They'll be like, it properly explains the conditions. Like, actually, it doesn't. It doesn't accurately, you know, thing. It is a word that is used to lump in a whole bunch of things that has been used almost exclusively for derogatory purposes these days. With the exception of stuff like, okay... When you're talking about painting, the R word actually does have valid use case. But you kind of have to go out of your way to need that use case outside of the professional settings of that specific type of painting. Well, I would say using a derogatory term in music is still a decision. Oh yeah, or sorry, you're talking about a muse. Yes. Yes, my apologies. I, I understand. That there is a thing when it comes to audio that that word, but even then, that's um, yeah, yeah, but that's the thing. Like these days, because we recognize it's one of the things that we actually went uh, into in software or not software, computer hardware. Um, it used to be back in the day when it referred to hard drives as you had what was referred to as a master hard drive and a slave hard drive, and then the concept was. That, you know, your master hard drive had your operating system and all that kind of stuff, and the others had basically all your other junk. Uh, for one, that doesn't actually, you know, accurately portray the relationship of the hard drives. The master hard drive doesn't have some type of authority or control over the other one. The only thing that makes the master one is that's what's called the master boot record. Um, and that just kind of says, these hard drives are here, here, and here. But if you take that hard drive out and shove it into another computer, it works fine. But, um, so nowadays the common terminology is primary and secondary hard drive, or system and secondary hard drives. But that's kind of what people are doing, is we're, we're taking those words, because most of the time they don't accurately describe things in the first place. Not all of them, there's, there's definitely ones that do. But there are better terms we can use for being more accurately descriptive. Um, so it was a conscious effort in the, you know, IT side to do away with that uh, naming convention for another. And there's been pushback in that. There's, like, tons of it. My, my favorite one still today is people pushing back on the whole GitHub or, like, a source control because there's, like, well, this is a master copy and all that kind of stuff. I was like, but it doesn't have that. I'm like, yes, it does. It came from file systems. That's where it all started. And the file systems 100% had that terminology with that intent. Not, not for a bad intent, but that descriptor. And then it's also still not a great terminology. I mean, the only thing that changes is people would change it. They'd call it main now, or they'd call it production, or whatever is appropriate for their structure. It's one of the reasons I get really irked when people push back so hard on terminology. Um, describe someone who was born out of wedlock. Um, maybe tame it up here? Yeah, so, the thing, though, would come up, when do you typically use that term in a positive sense? Like, there's, there's, I've actually used that in book reports, um, long, long ago, um, mostly because I hated the subject matter and they was an accurate descriptor of them. Uh, we were talking about, uh, we will just say large figures in World War II and you can probably guess who I was referring to. And we do not need to type out the name because I'm 99.9% .9 sure it will auto-mod. Understandably so.
All right, so I'm getting myself roughed up because I'm standing in goop. Yeah, it's just... It's those things, those terms, like, the term like that... I can't think of the last time I've actually been like, oh, yeah, I need, like, I need to describe this. Outside of maybe, like, academic means. At which point, like, writing it out isn't that big a deal. And that one's not that bad. Oh yeah, no, and that's that's one that does actually have use cases. You know, female dogs when you're actually describing, like literal female dogs, like that is an appropriate thing. But if you're ever referring to a person as that, then you know, very clearly that's not the intended. So there are words that definitely do have a, this word is okay in this context, but not that context, or it's okay almost exclusively in this context. You know, context does matter. There's just a lot of cases where people use context as an excuse. Like they'll try and like create a context, it's okay. Alright, so we're looking for, there is a place where stuff's buried here. Alright, Desa Dusty, you take it easy. Find a crumple note. My darling, I have found the guard snooping around. He has been taken care of. Just be sure I move the stash to a different place. Hint is a white tree of our withered love. Hint is at the white tree of our withered love? What? What's that supposed to mean? The white tree of our withered love. Looking for any type of, like, birch tree or something like that would be, you know, a white tree. But of her withered love part, maybe it's in the... Wasn't part of this place look kind of like a graveyard or something? No, that's not what I'm thinking. Um, oh, I mean, we dug up the final part there. Um, let's see. Dirty money. Find the white tree of our withered love at the Grand Mansion. Oh, you could show me the photograph? Never mind, that's the same photograph we started with. Alright. The white tree of our withered love. Am I just going to start trashing everything in this place? There's nothing that would imply white tree over here. Oh, there we go. Another chrome note. I hit it in the northeast corner of the court. Yay, so he finished it because I had already found the last objective because I dug it up. Okay, so that's one quest done. Um, I'm going to take a minute here to crack, like just trash some of this place for materials because I'm hurting on a lot of materials now. And there's just a lot of stuff here. Can I combine it? What does that do? Um, so the combiners basically make it so you can have more. So if I have, like, I don't have any of the super rare materials. If I had one of the really rare materials, I can only, I can't stack them quite as high. Or no, the combiner, or was that as a compressor? Let's, um, let's, we'll check here in a minute. 
It might allow me to combine lower materials into higher ones. There was a couple different things that have similar names. Let's double check the combiners and all that. That's a compressor. Where was the combiner? So I can upgrade you. You know, was there a combiner? Yeah, compressor. Yeah, so the compressor is if we if we look down here where we have like the number of little icons here, um certain materials, let's see if I can get an example of one. That'll be perfect. So you notice that didn't fully fill up that square. I actually have an extra like it it's like half a square. It's gonna be hard to see. Um, that's what the compressor does. It effectively makes each of those tiles able to hold more than one of the material. Um, so it's just the uncommon means uncommon grade materials it can do that for. Oh, what's the grill give me? Just scrap metal. Those couches should give me a bunch of fabric, so let's go ahead and go up there. I don't need to break all these walls. Like, basic wood that I'm doing pretty good on. Kitchen will be a good place for us there. Listen to this. Mining company has now excavated excavated five percent of the farm reserves. We already have them enough for our needs. We should not be greedy. This is an automated. Oh, uh, where's the first lumber mill you I found? Um, the first lumber mill I found was up here somewhere. Um, not at the diner. It was over here somewhere. I think that might be it. I think this might be the first lumber mill. I oh, yeah, it's right there. Krebs Wooden Timber. Uh, so if you look way out here, this is where you start over here. It's northwest of the snow area. But it's by Old Chalice. There's a, there's a timber place. So you got to get through. There's a wall here at Checkpoint Kappa. Uh, you follow the road. So yeah, if you follow the road, just keep going west from the farm. And just keep, just follow it west, just follow west. You'll, like, you'll get really close. So you'll have to, like, see Old Chalice and realize you go the other way. Okay. I suspect I won't be too much longer till I get my um, next tool upgrade. I wonder if there's a machine for your house you could turn cloth into fabric? Um, maybe. I don't think you'd need that, though. Like, you do find a lot of fabric. You just have to take the time to actually get it. Like, almost every bed and couch and all that gives you fabric. Some of the enemies drop fabric sometimes. Um, I mean, it certainly wouldn't be bad if they did. Like, this bed will give me fabric. Oh, you're probably going to give me some worthwhile.
And we'll check this last shed down here. Oh, I already cleared that out. Okay, that's all I wanted to do is just... The mansion had lots of materials in it, so I'm like, alright, let's just take a second. We're here. There's always materials. I'm short on a bunch of materials. Let's just get this done. Alright, so... We still haven't found last area. Let's just go down here. Yeah, let's just start going around here and see if we can't find the um, Solaris. It's not going to be up there. That's that's an elevated area. We've already been through here. I don't see anything up there, but we're, we're just going to kind of explore a little bit. Because my assumption is Solaris is going to be in this desert region somewhere. Now here's another thing that might help. Do I have... Oh, yeah. Now, if, uh, if you're ever sitting there and you're like, you know, there's something that you're, like, really tempted to, like, fill me in on, that kind of stuff, and it's, like, really, really good into you, just sit on your hands. Just sit on your hands if you got to. That's what you have to do to not backseat. That's what you gotta do. And mark those. Yeah, I caught a bunch of fish and it gave me 13,000 XP. All right. Cuz I'm partly thinking Yeah, no, it's just the the statement I made is more just like at broad. Um not you, but um we we've, we've had some some issues with backseating. Not not super recently. But not super far along. No, not that long ago either. Oh, let's reveal that. I'm kind of going around the board of the map, and I'm also going to use the enemy radar thing. Because uh, what I can do with the enemy radar thing... Oh! We want to do this. And that's the reason why I'm exploring. Because that'll give me another large blue orb. So we have a timer. Those collapse. Nope, time ran out. That's fine. Okay. So we need to be reckless. enough. Oh, and one more tomb. And we'll get more XP for doing the tombs. Yeah, first time I did these things, they killed me almost instantly. It's like, oh man, this is really rough. And then you learn you can just like kind of run and dodge through and we're like, okay, that's much easier. That's what. Oh, that bush is solid. Okay, so we got two enemies up there.
Because I'm mostly using this as a way to try and reveal... They're going to usually have enemies near anything of interest. Okay, so we got a bunch of enemies up there in the... That area. So I'm basically trying to track stuff down with the enemies. Which again is fine. Like even if I don't find what I'm looking for, if I find other things of interest, that's good enough. They're over here. And that's exactly where I ran up here. We found now the tablets. For a thousand years. The tribe flourished. We built great cities, and we praised the one-armed king. But we should not have done this. All right. <laughs> that sounds ominous. Thanks, man. I'm glad you filled me in on that. All right, I need to use the restroom for a second, so I'm going to... Throw the fishing line down, get a pop in the restroom, and I'll be right back. So thank you so much for anyone who's been tuning in, been lurking, chatting, following, subscribing to the bits, hosts, the donos, and the raids. It all helps, I really do appreciate it, and I do hope you're enjoying the stream, and I'll be back here in just a minute. Attention. Oh, okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, I no. already fished all the things. Don't do what you don't want to do. <laughs> don't do what you don't want to do. Hey, Darth Strider, how's it going? Hi, Frankenstein. Puppy. What's up? I love you. Not as much as I love you, and you just have to live with that fact. <laughs> There's one enemy on the other side I won't be able to kill. Why are they over there? Because they're smart and they don't want to die. <laughs> yeah. It'll be fine. It's one of those things I'll have to like circle back and deal with them later. What? You're silly. 
I didn't I'm not denying my silliness. All right. Yeah, so we're going to keep trying to find the Solaris place cuz that's Let's see. Um I was just being unusually quiet. Oh yeah, no, it's it's all good. No, I know you're here earlier. Yay, so we hit level 35. I suspect Okay, that unlocked the soldier outfit. Wonder what that's gonna do. Alright, um. Oh, it'll be an invention. We'll worry about that when we get to the next place that we got to enough. We can go to Driftwood here. Yeah, we'll go over to Driftwood. Was there. Yeah, there's enemies down there in the path, but we'll go to Driftwood, start clearing that out. Because I also figure if I get to these places and, like, clear them I still don't find Solaris, that tells me that Solaris isn't in this town. Or isn't in this area. Because it could also be that Solaris is just a different region entirely. Or in a different re region entirely. I need you to get out of here. Being in that enclosed space with you is actually pretty dangerous. And we'll get rid of you. That's fine. Um, oh, we didn't cross this bridge. Okay, so let's... Run back up here. Well, actually, I don't even need to go that far. Okay, so now I can hit the campfire here. Okay. So. We can have animal friend, farmer, chance of gathering double, max hit points. I'll go for max hit points now. Alright, so we got the soldier outfit as a new thing. Um, military uniform of unknown origin, excellent for combat situations. So we do a significant amount of extra damage with the gun and get two more shots out of it. But it's still very limited on the number of uses. Um, the rare compressor, I need more of a lot of things. This, I need more of a lot of things. Well, I need more of the mana chunk. Um, I need more lumber. Yeah, so I'm not going to unlock any more tools through that. We're going to have to, like, progress the story, find stuff, do quests as our way of getting more tools and all that. All right, we got a recipe for cactus juice. All right. So let's see if we can't make this cactus juice real fast. Um, cook. Cactus juice. So I need 12 cactus. Alright, so I do not have enough cactus, so I'm going to have to go kill some cactus. Can I cut it with the katana? That'll work. Because that's a permanent stat buff, so I definitely want it. It was 12 and I had one cactus already. Which is fine, we'll just keep wandering around looking for stuff. And destroying the cactus as we go.
I imagine there are people, because of the catharsis of it, who will literally just boot this game up and just systematically go like screen by screen and destroy absolutely every single thing on the map. And I don't even like 100% understand wanting to play that. I just think I'm one of them. Oh yeah, like I can totally understand like how that works. I'd probably do the same if I wasn't streaming it, because, like, streaming it wise, that would get pretty monotonous pretty fast for, like, just watching someone, like, go through, like, building after building and knock it down. Maybe, honestly, that's actually what I could see people being into as well. Like, for me, I'm not motivated to do it yet because there's stuff I can't destroy yet. Like, once I got whatever let me destroy... Because I think the concrete walls, from what I've seen, are the hardest thing for me to destroy. Once I'm able to destroy those, I could absolutely see just systematically annihilating everything. Like, right now I'm unmotivated because I know I'm going to have to, like, double back again. They'll still destroy stuff, certainly. But, like, to make sure I properly full clear it, I'm not as motivated. Oh, Strider, did you, uh, did you see the Cinco de Mayo slash Revenge of the Fifth announcement? I figure you'd enjoy that. For those who didn't know, like, on both Twitter and on, um, on the Discord, you know, I basically was wishing everyone, like, a happy Cinco de Mayo and a happy Revenge of the Fifth. So I was posting a gif of Darth Vader sombrero dancing. All right, there's that. I right, definitely have more enough cactus now. The so next time I hit a bonfire, we should be good. And I'm once again down here without enough planks to do anything with it. All right, we missed some enemies over here. Now, I should be able to make two of those turrets now. I still don't think it'll be enough because of the hole where we, we noticed you have to reload them. You know, check this spot here, make sure it's clear. I got one more enemy right over here. Somewhere. Oh, interesting. It's marking that there's an enemy in this. Um, I'm pretty sure I can't damage these yet. Yeah, so weirdly enough, it's saying there's an enemy like right here. Like, right, right here in this rock formation. Oh no, it's actually marking it here. Well, it's not marked as a diggable spot, but I'm willing to find out. Nope. It's probably just a bugged enemy that it'll get sorted out later on. With those two again, I didn't want to just mess around with it. They're both of them can be very dangerous in their own right. I've got grenades. They might as well be used. I 
All right, send all the stuff home. Yeah, so we got the city up there to clear and all that. We had that down there. There's a all right, that was the dangerous area. That was the explosive box. I don't think that was a thing. There's a group of enemies up there that we never explored either. enemies over here that we hadn't checked out what's there and there was enemies up here yeah I noticed the buzzards on the minimap but I also noticed so far I've been unable to interact with them Let's get to the campfire. Make our cactus juice. Hey, tried since you got the gun? I have not. So, 12 of these. Backstab critical chance is increased by 5%. Nice. That would have been really bad if you finished that attack off. I've been flat out one shot before. Onion rings! I've been one shot before. Well, it's not technically a one shot, but I've been basically like shotgunned by them. We get stuck like that and they just hit you with the whole thing. Tear that up. Okay. So let's see what our new recipe here is. Do we have everything I need for that? Onion rings, so I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Max hit points plus five. What am I missing? Oh, seven. Um, upgrade stuff. Cool. That was a super smooth engagement that had nothing at all go wrong on it. Definitely all went exactly how I expected it. Without any surprises whatsoever. And I'm just doing this because I already got hurt a whole bunch. I'm just going to hit the bonfire and top off. I figured I might as well do some quick demolition. Oh, 
All right. All right, the dumpsters are good for a lot of just random materials. So it's separate entrance. We can deal with that. Just go one down. Okay. Still need more circuit board. Oh, electronics. Circuit board is a separate thing. And bridges and all that are good for it, so... We're gonna get to the point where I can build my building out of um, brick and I'm gonna need a ridiculous amount, and i that's probably the point where we're just gonna like purge all of the buildings from existence. give me if I destroy them. Alright, lots of fabric, so we'll take a moat to deal with this. care about the bathroom stalls. They're not going to give me anything I want. Was there a kitchen I could destroy stuff in? Nah, I already cleared it out. That's fine. Okay. Strip TV with that too? Cool. I do appreciate that, like, over time, I don't have to be. Like, earlier on, I had to have, like, up, I want to destroy th this, up, I have to grab my blunt one, up, I want to destroy this, up, I have to grab my sharp one. And it still does exist, but, um, I'm able to get away with more and more, which I'm appreciating. I am hoping that later on in the game, you'll just have, like, you know, the sledgehammer or whatever that you can just ignore the damage type and just go for it. It wouldn't be the end of the world if you can't, because you do enough damage that you can just slam through a lot of stuff. Okay, so we got that cleared. That this town basically knocked out entirely. Still haven't found Solaris yet. But the whole area is getting pretty pretty wiped out. Okay, so the blown up house. I go that, so I pull up my thing that shows the monsters. I got a couple monsters here. We have the one we couldn't get to. We got a bunch over there. So I think I'll kill the two that are up here. We'll start cutting west.
three over here. Make sure there's nothing we care about up here. Nope. All right, so three more up along the rock. Then we get a whole bunch of stuff in the um, jungle area. I have pretty much noticed that the jungle, they really like to put the things that have spikes. Oh, I remember this area. Well, that was not smooth, but that was a pretty dangerous pack, so it is what it is. Also doesn't help that I accidentally took out my shovel instead of an actual weapon. Okay. Is that, oh, that must be in that compound I said earlier. I don't think I've got a good way to get in there either. Top of her health again. And deal with the big guy over here. Frame of Hill. Property for, property for closure. Go ahead and hit the bonfire real fast, top off. I actually meant to drop in the storage, it's fine. It does do that just slower. Okay. Yeah, so the yards are on the other side there, which I can't reach yet. All right, so what do we still have up here? Um, we've cleared off everything on this side we can get. We got a group down there. I got a group over here, which we haven't checked out at all. Let's go ahead and wipe out the stuff down here. I'm starting to be more and more concerned that Solaris isn't on this tile at all. Well, let's change you out for the fishing pole again. Oh, right, that's on the other side of the fence. Um, I know we got in there before because we could see where we had all the debris we left. Uh, 
Okay. Is that all the way to the mansion? Oh, that's a diamond mine. Um, I'll worry about that later. We'll have to come back to the diamond mine anyways, so we'll go this way. I mean, I can do this thing. I, I really like to save the blue eye orbs for clearing the enemies out of areas permanently, though. Before we go there, we haven't explored this area. There's no enemies up here at all. Let's just take a quick two-second look. Make sure it's not just a tablet hidden up here, like tucked in the trees or whatever. No, nah, it's not looking like... Okay. Just gotta double check. Okay, nothing of note back here from the looks of it. And there's a couple enemies over here we need to kill. Oh, we missed one up here. Okay. So that one we couldn't find. We've got enemies over here. Let's check this pocket of enemies down there and that one over there. That enemy detector thing seems to be a pretty good way of finding just anything of interest. And then just running in areas I haven't revealed on the map. Stop by here while we're here to refresh things and drop off. At some point, I still need to run back to main base again to top everything else off. What was up here? Let's check up here along the shore since I haven't revealed it either. Then we're looking for tablets and ruins. I see the enemies down there to the left. We'll check there in a minute. Okay. Number of enemies left is getting pretty low. Alright, so we do have a path down this way, which I have not fully explored, I don't think. No, oh, I thought there was I thought there was a gap in there. Um Okay, so I got a ruin over there. Can't get into much over here. So yeah, let's go down there. And I guess we'll cross the bridge. I mean, the very strong feeling that Solaris is not actually in the desert, which is curious. I mean, this desert, I guess I should say. It could just be there's another desert biome we haven't gone to yet.
Okay, so... Alright. So what I ought to do... Is we have that there, which needs the planks. I'm going to go up there. We'll clear the enemies up there. We can fast travel back home. Hopefully get a bunch of those planks that we need. Maybe make the bridge across the area to the water. Otherwise, I'm very quickly running out of stuff down here for places that it could be hidden. Um, which, in that case, to be the case, it just tells me I need to go someplace entirely different. But that's fine, because we're upgrading our tools as time's going on. We're getting materials we need. Um, we're finishing side quests here and there. All of which is progressing us. Okay, yeah, the diamonds are mine straight north of us. Pretty sure saw one of the guys that run up on you real fast. Okay, I think you are the last three. Alright, so let's fast travel back to our home area, see if we can get the planks, build those that bridge. There's also a bridge to the northwest I need to build. That's where I need to be. There's also a bridge to the northwest that I could build. Hey, CK Hawk, how's it going? Let's fast travel over here. Just one of those things that, like, every soft that I go through an area, I'm just like, yeah, I'll just tunnel a path right through. Eventually it'll all be destroyed. Okay. Yeah, so... If we can get our mana chunk... We can get the home portal. That's definitely one I want to prioritize. Okay. Yeah, so I can make you into a mana chunk. And you're expensive. Let's start you making two... Three mana chunks. Why am I moving so slow? Oh. Titanium. Oh, let's see. I'm devising a plan to start a zombie up start the zombie apocalypse, but the CDC refused to return my calls. Okay. <laughs> As as they should, if my understanding is correct, of what you were suggesting. Alright, so. We just used up all that steel I needed to upgrade those things, that's fine. Um, go ahead and make the boonie hat and get that done. That's one less thing I have to worry about ever upgrading any, ever. Can I go back to sleep yet? If I can go back to sleep... Yeah, we'll let that stuff just process.
Okay, so we got mana chunks, we got all that kind of good stuff. All right, so. No, it's invent. That's just like, what? Okay, so you have the home portal thing. Transfer the humor, the user back to home and back again. Long range home portal. Enables the home portal outside the main island. Okay, so we don't have the materials to do that yet. The rare compressor is waiting on electronics. I don't really care about the other stuff right now. Yeah, and that was the thing. When I read it, I was like, oh yeah, we definitely want that right away. Okay, so let's go ahead and upgrade the hunting rifle. Um... Upgrade the motorcycle helmet. Okay. Do I have at least, was it six or eight planks? No, I have two. Okay, yes I do. And I can make the counterweight three. You're done. Get off my list. Um, we need steel for that. We would need titanium for that. I'm just, I'm basically spending material as fast as I can get it. Let's see, so has to, the funny thing is I applied for a job at the CDC once, but after canceling on the interview, once for being sick, I showed up to the second with 103 fever. Needless to say, although I was qualified, I failed the interview. Yeah, especially the CDC, if you show up sick to there, they're probably going to do it. I think you can get one steel and one circuit, one wooden plank from the wooden pillar in... From the wooden pillar... Yeah, no, there's plenty of place for me to get materials. I'm not worried about trying... Oh, wait, actually? I can invent living room furniture. Okay, steel and electronics. Or fabric. Those I won't be able to unlock for a while. We're almost done. Oh, it's just telling me that there's two more unlocked. That's right. Like We're almost done with the stuff we can find there. All right, so let's run back this way. I do have the home portal thing. I assume that's a device I have to put down here, isn't it? Um, home portal. With that... So that just can be used any time. So that just makes the other thing not needed. Because you can teleport back home, drop off my stuff in the box, and then teleport back. You know, it's not as efficient as the other thing where I could just hit a button and dump it all in the space. Yep, now I noticed that when it didn't have a one or anything on it. Alright, so... The thing I gotta figure out is, if we look down here... I cleared out almost all the enemies except for down in this area on the bottom here. Um, we did not find Solaris. So I'm getting that impression that that's now where Solaris is. So we haven't fully explored this area. We'll just start exploring this area and see where that takes us. No sense of getting stuck on one thing if it's not even the thing that's the priority. The fast travel. The, there. Transmitters. 
Deadly transmitter. Yes, please. Okay. Get out of here. And now I feel comfortable kill like comfortable killing stuff and exploring this way. Because the bonfire's right there, I feel not bad at all for them. Just wasting grenades aggressively. Alright. So it cleared out almost all the dangerous stuff out of there. Do you have any quest markers nearby? So we've got that's clearly blocked by a bus. Let's take a look at it. Can you break cars yet? No. I think cars will be one of those last things I can break. It looks like the concrete barricades and cars are kind of like the most durable things. Because it's 70 damage. I think I'll have like one more upgrade. Like the next blunt weapon will be what I use to break those. Oh, hey, what are you? The train parked the central ra railway that seems to be missing a power unit. Rendering it inoperable until one can be found. Perhaps there is one in the central railway station. Okay. Which is like right here. Alright, that's fine. Oh, it's gonna be one of those things that's like... You find it, like a note saying, you could find one over here at this other place. The delivery man from the Mighty Mall told us that he misdelivered our power cell. Remember why it's a critical part of our transportation infrastructure at the hands of a store? Reminder, like, why is it? Okay. So yeah, so we have to go to the mall that's here. Let's kill you real fast. Have to spin by later and figure. Spin by later and worry about it. Okay, where's that bonfire? There's a bonfire around here, right? I mean, that's fine. Oh, like, literally right there. Cool. All right. 
So I can't go in there, so I have to find the way in. That's not what I'm looking for. By find you mean just make one? Yeah. That's the thing, I can't get through these other walls, but that garage door I was able to go through. Okay. Alright, so we got a bunch of them killed. It's looking like the stuff I need in the mall is way up there in the top left this room. Okay. So well, since uh, this game, what's the objective again? Uh, we're trying to get out of here. We're on a island, like the zombie apocalypse kind of thing that was kicked off. And we're just trying to get out of here. When the rest of the world entered the atomic age, we were already a million steps ahead. This is an automated recording sent from K-23, the Crown Station. Let's see. The employees of the train station called and said that they had delivered the wrong package. After some internal investigation, we have concluded that there was a mislabeling incident on their package. It could be in any one of these three locations. Now, we delivered cargo yesterday. All right. Yeah, so I'm trying to find four power cells to power my um escape rocket thing to get me back to like the mainland or whatever. All right, yeah, so I can't go through that wall. That's fine. Um so let's run down here real fast. Drop off this stuff. Actually, we'll top off over here. Yeah, so it's basically get off the island. But reality what you typically do is just Annihilate literally everything, you know, enemies, walls, literally anything that you see. It's break stuff the game. Just doing that for the circuit boards. Seems important, better not destroy it. Uh, okay. I guess I'm coming back to that shelf at some point. Thanks for letting me know that's an important thing I'll need to return to at some point, game. Oh, those ovens I can go ahead and break. All 
right, so let's see which one of the first of these points we have to reach to uh, progress that stuff. Not making that rabbit's foot. Um, all right, so it didn't bother marking them, which is kind of annoying. On the way forward, check the delivery map. So we have them all, which is where we're at. So there's one straight north of us, which we'll do first. What were you delivering to? Oh, there's another building up here. It's like, why are you delivering to like a trash pile? Yeah, so it's just delivered to someone's home. Okay, this is gonna be a whole thing, isn't it? Figuring out which home it ultimately went to. There's nothing here but plastic baubles. Okay, well, that's going to be a whole thing. So. Alright. I'm assuming that crate was the one we had to find for that area, because it was like a delivery box. All right. So let's go to quests. Way forward, check map. Um, So we have an L shape and then a block with what looks like a trailer in it. So this is the mall. Let's go around this. We don't, we don't need it from that. This seems like a safe vector to approach the park. Is there an unsafe vector to approach the park? Question mark. Yeah, so marked it as somewhere over here. It's probably right there. The flyboys missed with their bombs and have destroyed a large part of our defensive line. But we have to pull back to City Hall. All right, so let's check our quests again. Yeah, so it's on this end. You find my wife, please tell her that I'm sorry for everything. Okay. It's over here somewhere, because I marked it down right on that end of the park. Would you stop? Thank you. Uh, 
Okay, so we got that guy killed. Top off our grenades. I'm trying to figure out where this box is. Because we got City Hall here. My assumption would be the box would be down there. Let's see, quests. Um, the way forward. Check the map. Oh, I'm down here. I need to be... It's up. It's north of us. So it's up here somewhere. Yeah, it's, it's up along there somewhere. Let's just try and drop back, make sure there isn't a, a gap here I can cut through. Hello. Defensive turret. Okay, so yeah. Yes, yeah, so it's over there. Alright, which means I gotta cut through this building. I gained a level. I can make brick walls now. Um, all right. Well, I mean, I can break this, but it's on a higher platform. Not sure I'm going to be able to drop down. So it looks like I gotta equip my gas mask again, that's fine. Kill the people here. Well, the zombies here. Um. The first mana effect, the heat. With the right catalyst, mana produces heat without losing its mass. This may not sound much, but this powers our industry and keeps us warm. An infinite source of energy. This is an automated recording sent from K23 to the Crown Station. Okay, um, well, if that's the case, drop the plant matter. Alright, so we didn't find it there, which is fine. I kind of figured that was going to be the case. It's going to be one of those ones where it'll be the very last one you check, no matter how, what order you do it in, just about. Huge poor wonderful. Yeah, I'm trying to just, because I need to go back anyways. Like, you're just trying to get back down to the bonfire. So I'm not too worried about like the actual items until we get to the point where I'm not able to pick up stuff I care about. I'm just trying to circle back now. Yeah, it's 
probably be where I need to use the portal. There you just go. Boop. And get that going. So going for it looks like Okay. Uh so go ahead and drop this off here. I just want to get around us. Oh. Oh, hush. So now I need to change to the shovel. Yeah, those crates you run to and those ones you dig up, those kind of things, I've been pretty underwhelmed with the results of most of those. Like, it's extra material, so it's not like it's a bad thing or anything. But sometimes for what you have to go through to get to them and all that, or how hidden they are, it's just like, oh, I just got some ceramic. Okay, cool, I guess. Got spicy. Gonna kill the last one here. It's gonna skip that place for now since it didn't have the inventory space that I wanted to deal with it. Um. All right, so we have learned that those turrets are straight up no, like, bad news. I was like, all right, they'll be like the turrets that I can place, and I can probably just sneak up behind them. Uh, that is, that is not how they work. I mean, a different way around that. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, if you couldn't quite give me that much information, let me figure it out as we go, kind of thing. Part of the fun is figuring out, it's like, okay, it's a new enemy. Like, how do how do I deal with you? Like, what what is the things that you know? Like, what what can I get away with? What can I get away with? What's the strategy? It's figuring it all out. Isn't it just like, oh, by the way, do this. Kind of spoils the fun of it. I mean, in that case, it didn't see your message till I already dealt with it, so it didn't mess up anything after that, but yeah. Alright, so...
We can break brick walls, that's fine. Um, but, um, do need like that. Okay, so let's look at our map again. The way forward. And so the next one is just, it's basically south of us right now. That's not all how I want to do it, but it's fine. There's the box we're looking for right there. I also appreciate that like we have all these enemies around us it's like no 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 attack the person I think there's a correct passive package good not gonna worry about clearing all of this out right now Don't like not being able to see it well. Okay, so we can run over here. Tag the bonfire that's up here real fast and get that train moving. And bear with me for just a moment, chat. I need to uh, stretch my legs a lot. Getting the orbs um, from the skinless guys must be pretty good. Oh, yeah, like being able to get all the supplies and all that, just do away with the um, the more dangerous enemies. So bear with me for just a second. I need to stand up and stretch my legs. So I'll be back in just a minute. What I'll go ahead and do is I'll put up the um, the away scene, and I'll be back in just a couple seconds. Well, a minute or two. But thank you so much for everyone who's been following, uh, lurking, chatting, following, subscribe to the, bit, the bits, the hosts, the donors, and the raids. It all helps. I really do appreciate it. I do hope you're enjoying the stream, and I'll be back in just a minute. Mod, seriously. Catch up. That's that's right, right? I should have one left. Did I miscount? Yeah, come on. There we go. So, one poke, two poke. And kill to the pen. All right, so. Crap weapon. No. I missed. That's all it takes to end a run. One miss. I got greedy with that swing. I'll try to help. I'm really weak. Hold please, zombie. I'll help. Hey, buddy, you scared the crap out of me. When you're doing the tailoring, 
the left hand, you or like the hands, you can never get the scratch and bite resistance over, I think it's like 50% or so. So they're always vulnerable. Uh, the neck, you can never get scratch, I believe, over 70%. And I can't remember what the, uh, the bite is at, so that's always vulnerable. And I believe the shins, you can't get over 80%. So they're always vulnerable. So tailoring can't make you impervious to damage. But it can make like everything but those five 100% scratch resistance and pretty high bite resistance. That you just don't get clay, that you have to trade for it. Hit the F key. Oh, excellent. Thank you. I think it was the, uh... We can kill one more. I need to not stomp on it. If I stomp on it, I'll actually kill myself with the stomp. Alright, one more. Come on. Come on. We have a few more in here. Eat a potato, eat a potato. Too late. And it is done. Jeremiah Wiener has finally passed at one year, four months, 12 hours, 100... 135,120 zombies killed. At the end, we had managed to reach 8 fitness, 9 strength, 6 nimble. We had maxed out our axe skill, our long blade, our long blunt, and our maintenance skills. We got to 9... You know, 9, um... Short blunt. 99.9% uh. dead. windows are broken we were dead yep trying to recover risky climb I think we just killed ourselves. How are we still alive? What? When did I get bitten? I tripped, but I didn't see the actual bite animation. Well, okay. And I am back, so... Uh... Hmm. That's, uh... Alright. So I am back. Um, what we're going to be doing here in just a moment is it is about the time to switch over to the sponsored content. Um, so I do imagine we'll probably be playing more Dismantle here in the future at some point. Um, just trying to, to wrap up finishing this run. <laughs> Ice Strider. Um, yeah, so we made, we made some progress today. Um, we knocked out a bunch of the side quests we had. We got into this area and cleaned a bunch of it up. Um, we've got these two regions set up that we're clearing stuff out. We full cleared all of the zombies out of this area. And I think, no, it wasn't that one. There's, there was like this area, we got most of them out of this one. We literally did full clear. Um, there was a second one we full cleared. Um, we finished some quests up here. So we got a good amount of progress out of it, considering we've only been playing for a couple of hours today. Um, but we we have, for, for winning the game, I need to grab those two fuel cells. So we're getting to the point that I'm actually in range of these here. But like for this one, for example, I'm not seeing a bridge any... Well, there's a bridge here. As you can see, it's blocked by a bus, so it needs to be strong enough to break the bus or not. Um, there's a bridge there, which I can't go across. So I need to get across this bridge, which I assume that bridge will open up this whole area. And more than likely, I'll have a path up here that'll take us up there. The alternative would be... Yeah, I could take a, I could take just, like, walk the road over here. That'll get me these three regions more than likely. 
Yeah, more than likely I have to go through these re regions, come up from this side to get over there to get to that. Um, and in this one, I got to get across this bridge once I figure out where Solaris is. Um, I'm guessing Solaris is just in a region we haven't checked out. It's so like one of these two, maybe. It could also be this one down here. Well, no, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be that one down there because that's that's what's blocking that way. Either way, they're probably gonna have a thing where we have to like go up this route to then go through that route or vice versa or whatever. But yeah, we're doing pretty good. Um, I'm hoping that'll make sense for us to be able to actually play through this. Um, and it's kind of in its entirety on the channel. We'll see, though, because, like, the viewership, for, like, for example, the viewership isn't amazing on this. I actually kind of regret playing this before going into sponsored segment, but we're at where we're at. Um, so bear with me. I'm going to go ahead and get things set up for the sponsored segment. Um, we're going to be playing a game called Night Crawlers, and it is a... Um, a dungeon crawler with wobble physics. It's got like progression. It's got roguelike elements and all that kind of stuff. Or roguelite elements and all that kind of stuff. Um, so bear with me because I just need to go in here and turn on the timer for the sponsored stuff. All right. So we got that turned on. It's also one of those things that's kind of a bummer that like. All right. So we're going to have the ad start here in a moment. Well, we'll. We'll get everything set up, we'll trigger the ad, and then we'll jump into the sponsored thing. That way it doesn't interrupt it. But um, it's also, it's kind of a bummer though, because like, this is a perfect example of a game that like, the first time we played it, we had like 60, 70 people here for most of the night. Then the next time it was like 50, 60 people. And now we're at about 30, 40 people. And that's just the way it seems to go with any game that once I play it for more than like two or three streams, that like loses that new novelty. Um, it's been a thing on the channel forever that unless it's a game that I really commit to putting in hours and hours and hours and hours, that kind of occurs. The same thing was happening to uh, to Roots of Pacha as well. Like the first stream went really, really strong. And then part of the reason I had the pressure to kind of wrap it was like viewership was continuing to like gradually decline on it. It is what it is. Um, so let's go ahead and... We're going to get this out of the way.